Welcome back. Let's look at using the Excel What If Analysis data table feature for doing sensitivity analysis. Today we'll do a one-way data table. As a, as a model for, for doing this data table, let's look at the payment function in Excel, the PMT function. We see that finding this payment amount requires an input of the rate, number of periods, and present value. As you can see in cell C6, this payment function is referencing C3, 4, and 5 for the rate, which is a 5% annual rate divided by 12 to turn into a monthly rate, 36 months for the number of periods, and a present value or loan amount of 25000 giving us a payment amount of seven forty nine twenty seven a month. Now let's see how this payment function uh, varies as the payment amount, the loan amount, changes. So I've recorded here in this column a series of loan amounts from 20,000 to 25,000 in increments of 500. To the right of the top value and then up one, I'm going to put in a cell link to the outcome variable, which is payment. So equals C6. Now I'm going to highlight this range of cells from C12 to, to D23. Go to the what if analysis data table. Notice there's options here for both the row and a column input. One way data table, you just use one of those inputs. Our input data is in a column, so it'll be a column input cell reference. Then the reference is where we find this uh, value in the model. So the loan amount is in cell C5 with the present value. So I click on cell C5, then OK, and then we get these uh, payment amounts. So this is the amount that we would pay on a monthly basis with the, the rate and number of periods staying fixed. If we were to borrow uh, a loan amount of 20000 versus 25000 That's it. See you next time.